do some background music on. Go. It's pretty good. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Jimmy here. Slightly more awake now than when I first did this take. And uh, welcome back to a real life video. We're out here, outside the shed. We've been freed, finally. Don't get me wrong, I like shed based living, but I also like not being in lockdown for like four months, which are, you know, everyone has been. But it's nice to get out now and finally be doing some things in the real world. And today is a very exciting thing we're going to be doing because it's skyline day, baby. Because this thing is heavy, man. I'm not used to holding this camera. It hurts my arm. I used to do some like arm workouts with my left hand. Masturbation. <laughs> so a bit of backstory as to what's happening today. About a year ago, uh, a fella named Maz from HKS messaged me on Twitter. And uh, Maz, I'm not actually sure of his title, but he works for HKS Europe and uh, saw the video of when I went to collect the skyline, which was now over a year ago, which is mad to think. And straight away he contacted me and basically said, Jimmy, let's do something exciting together. This could be really fun, uh, make some really cool content out of it. And of course, the skyline for me is a car that's sort of made to be modified. So I was uh, straight away on that. And that's sort of where our mini journey started. So we're on the way now, me and Julian, provider of background music, on the way to get the Skyline now. And then we're gonna drive over to a place called Jap Performance Parts, okay. where it's gonna be fitted with its new HKS GT2530 turbos. I spent like ages, I think Joe will probably say as well, like just umming and ahhing as to, should I go single, should I go? And like, you just weren't interested. <laughs> it just becomes background noise eventually, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah, the hair. I think this is the first time you're probably going to see this on um, on video. They couldn't get all the blonde out, so I've got this <laughs> this little like blob of blonde ginger on top. So I just look like a, a sort of a boy band member who was successful once and is now trying to be successful again, like in a sort of a time that isn't his own. That's me. That's really depressing. <laughs> okay, here we are then in the skyline on the way to Jack Performance Pass, and it's weird to think this is the last time. That I'm going to drive the car like in its well stock form so maybe it's a good idea because I know a lot of you guys don't know this car um, to very quickly go over sort of what it is and what's been done to it and what hasn't been done to it so if you're unfamiliar with the car this is my 1993 uh, Nissan Skyline R32 GTR say it in the right way otherwise James May will kill me and uh, this car is a bit special for a couple of reasons first of all it's a v-spec so victory spec which means it has um, I think better brakes and a sort of tweaked tie cast system. It also comes in a super rare colour called TH1. I think if my memory is correct, it was like 141 were made in this colour. Um, it doesn't really mean that much, but to me, I, I, I adore the colours. In terms of mods, there aren't really that many at the moment. I mean, there are a couple of bits in there because I mean, what, what Skyline is stock, you know? But it's still on the ceramic turbos that it comes from the factory, hence why we're getting those swapped out as soon as we can because they terrify me, the ceramics. It's got some HKS pod fiddles, HKS uh, blow off valve, it's got a mine's equal length downpipe and uh, a Nismo clutch and a couple of extra nice little goodies as well. I've also realised from this angle I look super chubby. I've like, I got nice big old titties in this angle. The, the Skyline seat is not complimentary to your figure. <laughs> of course, best thing about this car. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about, man. I could do that all day and just not get bored. It's so amazing. So as you can probably tell, I am really excited for this. Like, genuinely excited because not only is it sort of living out that boyhood dream of having like a fucking R32 Skyline, that's amazing as it is, but then getting to work with HKS, someone, uh, you know, a, a brand that I've been familiar with since I was a kid, I've always just like associated them with like performance and just fucking cool liveries. So to be like connected with those guys and getting HKS parts for this car and getting it done properly, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those pinch me moments. And I'm really glad to be taking you guys with me. It's going to be great. <laughs> right, finally here. Only half an hour late. Uh, better get inside. I wasn't going to get told off. So Maz here has all the all the nice parts in his boot, apparently. So we're going to go have a look in this little tre treasure trove. This will probably be about half of everything that will be going on to your car over the next few months or so. 
Uh, oh, look at that. Little boxes. Excuse the shopping bag. <laughs> and Saints for shopping bag. So we'll talk about it in detail, but your new turbos, some of your engine yeah. components, your new tech stuff. Uh, a little indicator of what's to come. Do you ever just like get nervous of all that stuff just <laughs> in the back of your car? I, I used to. Yeah. Um, but um, I mean, I don't do this kind of thing often. I mean, not everybody gets the personalised bring your parts to your garage for you experience. But I think uh, he doesn't trust me, so it's bringing them here to make sure they get here, <laughs> make sure I use them. That's what it is. <laughs> so one of the awesome things about Chat Performance, they have like this kind of used parts shop as part of part of the shop, and like it's set out to sort of look like uh, how it would like in a Japanese parts shop. So let me show you what I mean. It's just like a treasure trove of. Parts. I mean, these these guys mainly deal with Impressors, GTRs, and Evos. So there's a lot of stuff like that in there. Some HGS bits in there as well. You could spend a whole day in here and just not get bored with the callovers and stuff like that. And of course, if you're watching from abroad, these places don't really exist that much in the UK. So it's just really cool to kind of get and see this place, which is so specialised. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a weeb a weeb dream for me. So something you notice as you sort of come into the shop here is uh, this. This is an Impreza, but as you probably tell, it's not really a stock Impreza. So let's tell us about it. It's amazing. What is it? Well, it, it's probably similar to what we do here. We like doing unusual things and putting the wrong engines in the right cars. <laughs> um, yeah. So this started off as a Type R two-door Impreza, which came in from Japan. And I remember 10 years ago, we had it sitting in the forecourt and a Skyline turned up with this engine. We thought, hold on, this is a good idea. So we started the project and now it's become our demo car, our drift car, we've competed all over the world. It's been to like places like Dubai, Russia, all over Europe. So it's been a lot of fun. So it has a RB25 engine with the 26 internals. Mm -hmm. It's making about 550 horse. It has a 350Z gearbox, GTR rear end, and custom extra ultra wide body on it. And Sarge is very kind, so I could take it home later on. Thank <laughs> you for that, I, I appreciate it. But uh, definitely gotta get out of this at some point, it's yeah. mad. The keys are hidden, like. <laughs> oh, I'll find them. <laughs> you do look like like an RPG, like shop guy. Like, what are you buying? <laughs> it's uh, all going to be yours soon. <laughs> We're going to try and look at getting your car up to spec in uh, two stages, based on what you were telling us that you were looking for. You know, between five to six hundred horsepower is very much a road car. Uh, the first thing we wanted to do was decide on the turbos. We pick these. These are the GT3 2530 twin turbos, uh, and they should spec quite nicely for mid 500 to 600 horsepower, uh, and they should be very drivable for you. At the same time, we'll fit one of these. This is the racing suction kit. That's the intake kit. So we'll replace your filters. When we go to the full build, your engine's not going to be able to handle 500, 600 horsepower on its own. Uh, so we're looking at strengthening the engine and after numerous conversations with me and I kept <laughs> asking you to decide what you wanted but you kept saying well what do you think is best <laughs> this is what I think is best this is our 2.8 litre stroker kit uh, our step zero kit so for want of a better word it's our entry level stroker we do have higher level stuff that's designed for 800 and more horsepower but uh, we keep trying to pretend that's not what you're aiming for no uh, one of the main weaknesses of the rb26 engine is the oil pump so we have a strengthened oil pump here for you as well up high on the head we're probably not going to do a whole lot but we will replace the camshaft with these these are a drop in what we call step one cam little bits and pieces new set of spark plugs for you it's a new oil, this is our newest range. Super turbo racing, it's so obvious <laughs> what it is. A few other parts are still currently not overnighting their way from Japan, but are making their way. <laughs> Overnight parts uh, from Japan, baby. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have the overnight option, but they are on their way. Intercooler's coming, a new clutch is coming, uh, nice shiny fuel rail to really show off in your engine bay, all coming for you as well. Nice big parts list for Jimmy. So one of like the only non hks bits on this build is this Link ECU. This is recommended by Sarge. Tell me about this a little bit. So the Link ECU will allow us to completely replace the existing uh, ECU in the car and then we can run the turbos, we can do whatever we like, fueling, air, so on with the car. We've got some extra sensors with this so we get rid of the lambdas in the car, the can lambda. We're fitting a couple of extra sensors, fuel pressure, oil pressure. And the great thing with this is if there's ever any issues with the car, the ECU can shut down the engine. So if it ever drops in pressure, uh, it can save the engine because a couple of seconds and that's it, it's all gone. And as Matt said, you don't want to be seeing these again. <laughs> no, definitely not. All these bits, all well and good them being here. What's the process? How are we going to go about doing this? Because we sort of thought about doing it in one hit and then thought, no, we're going to do it a bit of a different way. Well, it'd be great if we could just 
chuck it all in there, but it's a big old job. Um, so we divided the job into two really, so that our first step will be to get the, the first stage of power. We'll go with the turbos, the intake pipes and remapping with all the standard setup and that will hopefully give us around 400 horse. But from our point of view, sort of building this car, the first thing we want to do is make sure it's all in good condition, it's healthy. Yeah. So we'll run a check on the engine, make sure the cylinders are all good, and then we can go from there. So what do you reckon then, top end? If we, if we, if we were to say for this, I won't say stage two, but for the second step, that, yes. sounds, that sounds better, doesn't it? Peak power, um, I'm hoping that we could get to 600 horsepower. It probably wouldn't be best to always have it at 600, so maybe we'll, using the boost controller, we can turn it up and down, uh, and you can have about three presets. So maybe we'll have a 500 horsepower all the time spec, 550 for when you're feeling a little bit uh, adventurous, and then uh, 600 for those super, super uh, special times. That <laughs> would be the hope. I think we can reach it with this specification. The 2530s will be probably pushing it towards their peak end. I think you'll be able to enjoy it, whether it's at five or 600 horsepower. Those are the plans for the Skyline then. Um, pretty damn excited to think next time I drive it, it's gonna have about 70 80 more horsepower and then after that lots more um as a special thank you before we go i say or a special surprise for us sergeant says he's going to start up the uh rb25 slash rb26 in pretzer and maybe the salika outside too which you haven't seen yet but it's really damn cool so yeah fun bits in the end so sergeant told me this is quite loud this car so we're about to also we're in like a little workshop too so as we start in six months let's see if it fires up That's fantastic. So that's the uh, first time you've started in six months, you say? Yeah, first time in six months. Poor thing sits here, it's looking pretty. <laughs> um, let's show you something even louder. So you guys haven't seen this yet, but this is the uh, Celica that has been hiding outside. And you think, oh, Celica, really? This is a special one, trust me. Oh, you got one of the old school keys? Yeah, snap on screwdriver key. There you go, look at that. The old cooler out front as well, I love that. Beams engine looking at you, Alexi. Right, yeah. That's a proper noise, that is. Fucking hell, man. It's, uh, it's really awesome to see these cars exist <laughs> here in the UK because. Uh, car culture is used as courses. It's really great to see these. How long have you owned that for? This Salika, I built this about six years ago. Yeah? So yeah, we brought it from Japan and we put the different engine. It's got a six-speed gearbox, modern wiring. But the weather's been so good, I thought I'd get out and use it. Right. So Jealous. like you, I've got a 35, so, mm -hmm. but this is more fun, isn't it? Well, that's it for now. Not a bad way to end the video with that Subaru and that, and, uh, that Salika. It's so gorgeous, that car. Um, but Joe and I have to bugger off now, so we're going to leave the car with them. Next time you see it, it should have about 400 horsepower or so, which is a nice little bump where it is now. Uh, a month after or so, we're going to go for the big boy build, the 600 horsepower. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Getting to do this is a great privilege. You know, I, I always say how amazing it is to get to own this car anyway in the first place. So to, to have that and to also be able to like tune it and to work with HKS and, and with the guys here at Jack Performance, is a, it's, a, it's a privilege, you know, and there's definitely no way I could do it without the support of HKS. There's no way I could swing for that. They've really helped me out a lot. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the end results. And yeah, Skyline team by HKS, not a bad life. Anyway, guys, take care, have an awesome day. See you next time. Bye-bye.